the stomach so that the appearance is better once we are healed up and getting back to exercise. So, Cora, if you will, we will unleash the binding. Let me get you a pillow, okay? By the way, my stomach does not look good. If you judge me, I will judge you back. This stomach brought life. You were four days after delivering a baby. You look great. We'll use your, your breastfeeding pillow as a pillow. Okay. <clears throat> so, you want to show them? <laughs> okay, so I'm back then. She's a little shy. But uh, what we're going to do, as you can see down here, this is the uterus. It's still kind of blown out and bigger because um, it's still shrinking. Here's the top. And we're doing this for pain reduction and also so that the skin rebounds and everything below it. So... And this is the first time I've even touched this at all. Let's see. This is the same kind of treatment that we would do for people that have like liposuction scars, scars from abdominal surgery. It's not going to look like much, but essentially all I'm, what we're doing is there's Layers, there's about six layers. So layer, 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 layer. And they all need to be able to slide between each other. There needs to be water and fluid and blood flow between each of them. And they need to be able to expand and contract. So when you get stagnant, blood, water, cells, things don't heal as well. So my hands are acting like a heart, local to a specific area so that we can encourage new cells to come in, eat up the dead tissue that has occurred from the traumatic experience that's been, that's been going down and from labor and birth and um, pregnancy. Uh, so the easiest way to look at this is it's out with the old into the new. So what I'm treating right now is the superficial fascia, which is the fascia that you grab, that you can feel. When you, when you grab your skin, that's not just the skin, that's the superficial fascia, the top layer of connective tissue. And I, like layers of an onion, you just work one to the next. And I'm just getting a sense of how our tissues are, are, are responding, the health, the pliability. And then we'll start working on some of the deeper structures so that she cramps a little less with breastfeeding. Because that sucks, right, Cora? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now to encourage blood flow, I'm going to grab, I'm going to resist and pump the artery right here called the common iliac artery. And I'm just going to resist like blocking a dam. It's like hot in here. This is doesn't feel like a lot's going on. Is there any a little pressure building in your pelvic floor, Claire? Okay. That's all we were feeling, potentially. I'm just blocking the blood flow. Release, release. Blocking it. Let it build. Release, release. Block. Block above. Release, release. Block. Block. Release, release. This is just shooting blood into her pelvic floor and her abdominal cavity around her uterus. So she might have more flow after this, which is what we want, because we want the uterus to return to its normal size. Let's 
something like that. Did I hit that correct? Three diets of breastfeeding a child is tough, but she's doing a good job. Still nice and positive, aren't we, Mama? <laughs> she's doing great. What I'm treating her now is called the primary and secondary mesocolon. It holds up the large intestine, and because of the, because Athena was basically making everything contort around her, some of these ligaments have been stretched and stressed for a really long time, so they need, uh, they need some tender TLC, tender loving care, so that they can start to reestablish normal blood flow, normal tissue extensibility. Do you gotta use the bathroom? Okay. Give me one second. It could be related to this. There's also <clears throat> there's also a layer of fascia right here that that separates your kidney. It's like the, it's it separates compartments inside your visceral cap, caps um, cavity, and it's called tolt's fascia. 